everyone, James Mansfield here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, I'm finally feeling settled here in Las Vegas. I'm still in my live, laugh, love bathroom, but as you can tell, I've made a few improvements. <laughs> oh, it is so nice to finally just be chilling here with me and the girls. Owen, oh, she's back. I'm back, 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 back again. Now today I want to do something a little, you know, subdued, a little hanging out with the girls, you know? And so I thought, why not style a nice, soft, subtle hairdo? I'm just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> We're doing big hair today because I might do a photo shoot later, so I want to have big, gigantic hair. Yes, I haven't done a big wig in this house yet, so I feel like I need to bless it today. We're gonna be doing a double stack today. It's gonna be big, gigantic, sky high, every single adjective you can think of, I'm throwing it in this B, okay? Let's get started. First things first, I have to get my, you know, wig block in here, so be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, it is all on the wig head. Yes, we are doing this fun, shocking number today. I love this nice, crimpy hair texture. We're gonna do something really, really big, and this hair actually really works when you wanna make gigantic hair, because it packs down real easily. I can show you, but I can tell you, so let's just start doing it, okay? I almost kicked the wig stand over. <laughs> Too excited, okay. Let me grab my brush, teasing brush, and just start sectioning off some stuff. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with this yet. I know it's going to get big, but I don't know what shape exactly we're doing. We'll see. I'm wearing, well, I, you can already see underneath my apron the outfit I'm wearing with it. It's going to be, you know, this nice shocking color. I thought this goes together, you know, orange and yellow. It's like fire. Yeah, this hair is awesome for teasing down. Like, especially if you're beginners, try and check out these wigs, okay? Because really, it is such a treat to tease them because it just packs down so easily. I can't speak to getting the teasing out, but if you want a big, easy drag hairstyle, you're gonna get it with this first. I haven't ever tried to take the teasing out, so don't, don't at me on that one, okay? Ugh. Gorgeous, I love teasing hair in my big live, laugh, love bathroom. Ah, the echoes is really what makes it for me. It's the echoes for me. Okay, oh my gosh. It's like an electric tea kettle going off when I squeak in here. I better watch it. it sounds like the fire alarm, my goodness. Gorge, all right, I'm keeping it a little strandy here just to keep it down over my sideburns because the wig doesn't necessarily cover everything. That's one side so far, and it looks a bit like Cynthia from the Rugrats. That's how you know you're going the right direction. Except, you know, you're not bald-headed. Just, you know, the hair's getting crazy. I have to tell you folks, I am feeling so excited about, you know, the future and the possibilities for me here. Now that I've finally gotten all my stuff, as you can tell, all my Barbies are finally set up. I'm starting to feel a little bit at home. We got our car yesterday. Oh my God. Let me tell you one thing. Those car companies are some scoundrels. They try to charge us like $900 extra. Like we paid the contract and everything. We already paid a big sum of money. We moved here. And they're saying, oh yeah, by the way, um, you may have to pay in cash out of pocket when it gets delivered, you know, just environmental fees or something like that which was not in the contract, and girl, we went full care in mode on that phone. <laughs> they got scared and they dropped it, but yeah, they tried it. They will try it. And look, every car company that I've realized, if you look at their reviews, they all do the same thing, just about every single one. If someone knows a reputable one they went with, let me know, in case I decide, you know, move to Antarctica or something, want my car shipped again. Good Lord. All right, we are just about done teasing the top half. I'm gonna tease the back and I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh my gosh, this is the hair so far and she gets big when I tell you guys. Like, look at that. Yes. It's very Glenn Close in Fatal Attraction. I will be ignored, Dan. <laughs> then she blows a rabbit. Oh, what a fun movie for the whole family. All right, let's take that off because we have to do a double stack, but we have to prep a wig first. So, I love having so much counter space. Oh my God, you guys don't even know. Uh, okay. Grab our second wig and another wig block. Oh, wow. I was in sports. No, I wasn't, that's a total lie. Anyways, put that there. Take out our wig and prep it so we can start doing a double stack. Now, in order to do a double stack, um, I'm gonna cut the lace out of this so I can make like a wiglet. And the little frontal piece, I'll, I'll save for a rainy day, you never know when you need that. 
We're gonna need something that matches that color. But just a little snippy snip, cutting a wig away, making a mess on the floor. It's a nice tile floor, so it's fine. And sweep it right up. Oh my God, the last place I was in was all carpeted floors. Embedded in that carpet was every kind of rainbow of hair color you could imagine. <laughs> of varying qualities and textures. I did not enjoy breaking every single vacuum I use vacuuming that place. No, 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 I'm happy where I am now. My goodness. Yeah, little wiglet, let's throw that to the side because we don't really need it right now. And we're gonna take what we took off of that and we're gonna now tease that up. Yes, look at us being self-sufficient, doing things together, oh my gosh. And we're making our back piece right now. Yes. Looking at this hair, I keep thinking of like the old She-Ra action figure from the 80s. Y'all remember that? Oh my God. I never had it, but I always saw pictures of it in those old toy catalogs because my family never threw out anything. They have toy catalogs from like Toys R Us from the 80s in my house because my sisters just kept everything. They were hoarders. So I would go through it and you'd see like the She-Ra action figure, which is more like a She-Ra doll because she had hair you could brush. I would have died if I had that as a kid, oh my God. Thinking about action figures, the only ones I really could get away with that had combable hair was actually, I don't know how I convinced my parents to buy me these. I think I really sold them on the idea that like it was a TV show I loved and they weren't really invested in what I was watching so they believed it, like, you know, hook, line, and sinker. It were these dolls called the CY Girls. Now, I don't know exactly what see why was but i found it just by googling you know action figure gi joe's female hair and i found these ones and the thing that was so weird about them you guys was like they had a certain one called the perfect body doll the cy girl and it came in blonde and asian and i had got in the blonde one and you could take off their chest and adjust the size of their boobies <laughs> you could it was the weirdest thing it was the perfect body doll and like she was the same like shape and form of like a G.I. Joe like she was the same scale so I used her for like all of my G.I. Joe play so I had like a female soldier who was like you know the elite you know super tough usually the main character of all my stories but yeah to this day I still don't know what the hell CY girls were or what they were about or if even they were meant for children but I had those dolls <laughs> And I'm so thankful I managed to trick my parents into buying me them because, girl, I enjoyed the crap out of them. If any of y'all know that, like, you can only get them from, like, online retailers, like, little, like, back market websites to get them. Third-party websites is usually what carried them. And if anyone remembers them, let me know because I feel like it's just a doll I made up, but it, they existed, I swear. Or what was one of those? Many boy toy lines never really released girls. Like G.I. Joe had G.I. Jane, I remember. And she wasn't very fabulous. She was a redhead and I never really liked redheads. But like, yeah. And her hair was always really short and like molded so you couldn't do anything with it. Ugh. But there was one I always wanted in the G.I. Joe line. Was Mar Madame, Mademoiselle Marie, that's who it was. She was like a French spy and she came with wigs. Yes, change of costumes, wigs that you can interchange out. And like her original hairstyle was like this brunette bubble flip that you could style. And I always wanted her, but she was like, I guess a collector's doll because she was always like $150. And I could never convince my parents to buy me that. Because if they did, they're like, I better not see that doll open or anywhere on that floor because you are not playing with something that's that expensive. My parents are very that way, which is an understandable. <laughs> but man, did I want that G.I. Joe. God, that's like the only thing I was allowed to have that was doll-like. It's horrible. But really, you know, helped shape me as a gay man. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> Ugh, all right, I'm gonna tease the rest of this wiglet off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I am back. We are here with our wig all teased out from before. Now, I have the wiglet I teased out right here. Yes! Let's get volume right now. Turn up the volume, 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 volume. 
As you know, we part some of the hair in the front here, about an inch, and we're gonna make a little crevice here for the hair to go, and we're gonna throw it right up on there, yes! Just take a little pin and temporarily put it there. This hair color and this texture, she kinda looks like the older sister from the Wild Thornberries. <laughs> What's her name, Deb or Reg or something? Ugh, loved her. Just laying around in the outback, just in a pink bikini. Fabulous she was, they loved her. And she was boy crazy. And she was just like, what is with Lacey Chabert and all this animal talking? I do not have time for this. <laughs> Wasn't the father Tim Curry in that? What a weird show. My God. There we are, fantastic. All right, she is together now. And now he's gotta figure out where the front is again. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot of hair. Look at that. See, this is why I like this texture of hair because you can get so much volume out of it with so little. Like two of these together and mama, we are ready. Ugh. Okay, now I'm gonna try and find a style in this. I'm thinking let's go a little bit with like, you know, wild thornberries, why not? Pull a bang over like that. And just trim it a bit. That would be cute, actually. Super cute. Yeah. You know, like a valley girl in the 80s. A little more Larry on the sides. Ah, oh, fabulous. Okay. I'm trying to hit my fingers. My hands are so sore, you guys, because I had to make new hip pads. Oh, every time I do it, I always think, next time, I'm gonna have an electric turkey carver. And this is the third time I've made myself hip pads, and I did it with my fingers and these scissors. Oh my God, my hand is like T-Rex at this point. It hurts to cut. Now, a brush, and just start flicking the top of it, because I don't want too much teasing to be showing. I want it to all look like it's all one big solid chunk of hair. So you don't want that blend to show at all. Holy crap, that is so big. Check it out. That is fun. How big and funky that is too. And a little bit of layering on the sides also helps like, you know, blend them together. And what I also love about this is there's you know, a whole lot of hairspray either. So for those of you who go heavy hand on the hairspray, this is a good style for you to try out if you're just starting to do drag or something or wanting to play around with styling big hair. These crimpy textures are really, really good to start out with. And with anything, when you're doing bangs and stuff like that, you gotta go with the rules of layering. So, you know, short and spurts, you know, goes outward. And you're gonna get a nice style going. You have to leave long sections too. Otherwise, it's gonna look chunky. I'm using my Gatsby Blue Insta Hold. I cannot find a yellow can anywhere. I've been to Target, I've been to Walmart, I've been to Sally's. I cannot find it anywhere here. Has Las, has Las Vegas banned the yellow can of Gatsby Blue? Did I not know this? I wouldn't have moved here if I knew that. I have a special order from Amazon. Have it smuggled in. Oh my God, imagine me, you know, dressed like the scarf over my head in the middle of the night, like, Hoarding my yellow cans of God's we glued, sneaking into Las Vegas. <laughs> I can see that for me. I love that. There's a little mini movie for myself. My lifetime movie, not without my God's we glued. <laughs> but she's just about done. Like, holy crap. Let's just go through with our pick and pull up the volume in certain sections. But yeah, she is looking gigantic, 80s, and ready to parte hearte. Mold our bangs a bit. Yes, I think we are ready for a trial. I think we're ready to try her on. So I'll be right back and we'll have the final result. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, it's huge. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, crimp hair textures always get so gigantic. Now I saw a lot of you in the comment section have asked me to do a crimped hair tutorial. Well. Here you go. Also, I have crimped human hair in the past too. So, boom, there you are. I did a video on that already. So, you're getting a twofer right now. 
Ah, this hair is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The Jade's Mantle Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this hair a spritz. Ooh, ooh, one more. Oh, it's big hair. Ah, now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code JAMESN for 20% off your purchase, plus free shipping. It's for your no-no bits. And I have to take a moment of Venmo, where I think everyone is tipping me on Venmo. And I also have some Pipalamonies. Oh, I feel so good to say that in this new location. Pipalamonies. I have to thank Sergio, Teddy, Thomas, Sergio, one and two. Good Lord, Sergio, thank you. My goodness, you keep cracking over that piggy bank for me, huh? And a PayPal money from Eric. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the PayPal monies. Now this was so much fun to do. I feel like it's a really easy beginner hairstyle. For those of you who want to try out gigantic hair and get an instant result or like a result that's like, you know, not too, too much work as long as you like are patient, take your time with it and don't overdo it. This is actually a really easy step for you. Yes! Look at me, I'm such a generous queen. Ask Miss Ellen. Ugh, now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye! Now hit the outro! <laughs> Click here and watch me get my Ashley Madison data makeover. Or see transform a party city Wonder Woman wig. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll drop kick you in the next Tuesday. So click it. <laughs>